hi guys so i haven't really been recording because um trying not to fail this program i am leaving my pediatric uh, clinical site right now or practicum site whichever whatever you want to call it and the last time i did a video i was in geriatrics so this is quite different this is peas and it has been quite the ride in two weeks already. I have a little problem with being late for whatever reason. So today I really had to kind of redeem myself. I have a really nice uh, preceptor. Uh, he's a pediatrician, of course. Um, there's like three nurse practitioners that work here, but I was lucky enough to actually get the pediatrician. He's one of the only ones in my area um, that will allow students. For some reason, many many pediatricians do not um, precept. They just don't allow students to follow them, which is really um, it's really messed up because you need a pediatric rotation to finish your um, nurse practitioner program pretty much everywhere. I'm not quite sure if any program that you know will allow you to graduate without a pediatric rotation or some type of exposure um to pediatrics so yeah um it has been crazy i have two classes after this one um and i'm just so ready to finish i am so ready to take my nurse practitioner exam um the board certification exam and just be done i'm gonna tell you guys one of the hardest things about a lot of nurse practitioner programs nowadays is having to find your own preceptor site that is so mentally emotionally draining it's it's just unreal it's unreal to be honest with you to have to beg people to please let you come to their um to their their office and shadow them or whatever it is hard it is hard 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 work and a lot of these programs do not help you they do not assist and these are 30 40 50 thousand dollar programs that are not helping you find your clinical sites and that's that's tough so you know that is a that is something to keep in mind whenever you're deciding to you know which school you're going to attend for a nurse practitioner program because if you do not find a preceptor you will be sitting out you will not be in class you will you will you will be sitting out that class until or until you find someone i've heard of some other students who should have graduated already but they had not because they had to sit out a time or two for not being able to get that okay from these providers so i'm gonna tell you what i have done so far besides cry and pray I have I'm gonna tell you emails is ineffective do not sim sit behind your computer and think that you're gonna email these people and they're gonna respond they're already responding to tons of emails from other providers from insurance companies from God knows who they are rarely responding to get even a no in a response on an email is rare you can call these places and that has been kind of um that's okay you you you'll either get a yes or a no or or you know whatever but typically what i've noticed if no one answers the phone and you don't get somebody eight times out of ten they're not even returning your call if you happen to get somebody on the phone like the office manager or the nurse that is like you know the head nurse in the office or whatever you usually can find out from them whether it's going to be a yes or a no some places want you to call the human resources office and they may have like a nurse administrator who is in control of the whole placement of nurse practitioner students and all, all of that now what i have found with several locations that require you to speak to a nurse administrator is those nurse administrators also do not reply you can give them all of your information so even if they take your information don't get your hopes up yet 
I would not get my hopes up until a provider, their human resources office or their office manager or somebody asks you to go ahead and email your school's contract. If they have not asked for that school contract, they're probably not going to precept you. I don't care what they tell you. If they don't ask you what information do you need from me or something to, uh, you know, or, or ask you for information from your school, don't, don't take that yes and run with it. Don't wait. Keep searching until you, until somebody, you know, is approved through the school. Even if you do send the contract and exchange information, keep looking. Things happen things happen that site might not agree with your school's contract so you just keep there's a lot of footwork that goes into finding a nurse practitioner um a preceptor for a nurse practitioner program it's probably the toughest part and the thing that makes me the most unhappy about the nurse practitioner program <clears throat> so i personally have one more class that is not covered like it's it's I don't have a site and, and it's my next class so I have reached out to a clinic here locally in Central Florida and they've asked for the contract I'm still going to be looking I'm still like it's going to be the weekend well it's the weekend now it's Friday afternoon basically it's the weekend so as of Monday I'm not going to work I'm not going to clinicals I'm going to take that whole day get dressed up, put my little student white coat on, and basically show up at these people's offices. And they're going to have to tell me no to my face. Uh, some of them will. <laughs> so, um, But many of them, if you show up in person, they will at least take the time to check, the, check their calendar to see if they have um, space for you. They can take more than one student at a time. Whether they want to or not is the difference. Um... So yeah, I mean, finding a preceptor site, finding a, a clinical rotation is probably the hardest thing that I've had to experience. It is so, man, it's crazy. It can be depressing. It can be depressing. And once you find that clinical rotation, you need to make a great impression. Like, I went to clinicals yesterday looking horrible. Like, just busted for no reason. <laughs> So, I mean, and it, it was just an overall bad day. So, today I tried to redeem myself a little bit, you know, just throw on some hair or something, you know. Try to look cute a little bit because it was it was rough and it was rough. <laughs> so, once you get there, make good impressions because if you don't, you you kind of ruin it for the next student who is searching for that preceptor site and that preceptor that physician that nurse practitioner or PA is going to be like you know what I don't want any more students or I'm going to take a break and you may may ruin it for somebody else so you know or for your school they may say they don't want anybody else from that school so you got to try to make a good impression anyway you know I really just wanted to make a quick video and touch bases with you guys who may be following my nurse practitioner journey it is almost over four months and 28 days i am counting the fuck down i'm so ready to be done i have kind of passed that point of oh my god i did a pap smear oh i you know i saw this no i'm done i'm over that excitement i'm ready to be practicing i'm ready to be looking for a job and all the stress that comes with that so um anyway you guys of course i'm always gonna say subscribe to my channel comment below like my video and i'll try to post again when i'm not so stressed and looking for a preceptor and studying and blah 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 blah, blah. <laughs> talk to you guys later